In Italy, there was a, they went to court and they said, the use of my cell phone is directly connected to the frontal lobe cancer I got. They won, it went to appeal. Then it went to another appeal. They still won. And the appeals court said, we couldn't rely on what the service provider was saying. It didn't make sense to us. They clearly had a, a position. So we have a lot of Berkeley. When Berkeley uh, went to say, hey, I want to put a, uh, something on the, on the outside of it, warning people, it was just like cigarette smoking. Um, C CTIA, which is a consortium for cell phone users, um, that was, um, I'm being, being distracted, he's making a lot of noise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and so um, twice they went to appeals court and they lost every time. So this is very good information to know because in my opinion, when you have a groundswell of court, I quit smoking 35 years ago, 40 years ago. I know that cigarette, we know the research knew it was a problem, but we didn't know. We only found out because they lost in court. So I see some of that happening now. And so um, there's more evidence. What can you do? I love this chart because all you gotta remember is bees in the room. One bee won't kill you, a thousand bees will. So when you are in a room you have a cell phone on, you have um, the, the connection to the cell tower, the Wi-Fi transmission, and the Bluetooth. You have three bill, Bs in that one device. How many of those devices do you have on? All omnidirectionally feeding that room. So you, what you got to do is methodically go through your house and think about where these transmissions are. If you have a tablet, like for example, I have a tablet, I have an ethernet connection. I don't have it Wi-Fi. I don't need it. I, most of the time I do my work there. So I, I manage my environment by considering where those bees are. I turn them off when I don't need them. So think about that. Where are the bees in the room? Turn them off. When you have, you have a logarithmic drop off of power levels when you go directly to your head and literally four feet away it drops down to 90 to 99% power level drops by four foot. If you take it one to two foot away from your head, 80% of the dangers are gone. So this distance you are from your device is very important. What does that mean? When you take your, laptop, your cell phone home, you put it one place where you're not sitting. Just put it away from you. The danger of that device goes away simply by moving it. If you are on and you're using it more than six minutes, don't go much more. You really want to be careful. When you're using it a short period of time, there is no danger. Don't panic. But if you're going to use it for an hour, use a wireline. Use, use a cable to it. Use it in your hands in the speaker. Um, and, and then, of course, uh, there's shielding. There are ways to prevent the omnidirectional signal going in a specific direction. So you want to look for devices that can be used. But you've heard throughout this time, gut, uh, mineral balance, and cell health. More than ever before, you got to ensure these are in place because you're being exposed more and more to, to environments that are more and more dangerous to you.